Um, I have to realize what we're talking about. You can start with, oh, I saw you talking to the, the young okay. bartender or whatever. What were you guys talking about? Okay, I will So, Jill, I saw you talking with the naked bartender. What were you guys talking about? I don't know. I just thought he was so super cute, and I wanted to say hello, and, and I was curious to know why he would accept a job where he had his shirt off and he would be objectified. What gave you the confidence to go up and talk to someone? It's funny because we actually were talking about that, that had I been 10 years younger and we were at the same party, I'd probably be standing across the room and I would see him and think, I'm too cool for you. If you want to talk to me, you come up to me or whatever. And I don't know, maybe I'm in, because I'm in my 30s or because I'm married or because I'm a mother. I'm just like, I have a question for you. I'm going to go right up to you. And, and clearly he's a little bit younger and there's no real sexual tension there. <laughs> I feel confident enough to just, you know, run up and, and ask a couple questions. Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that you're married and he's single? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, eliminating that, like, real, you know, tension to it that I'm not looking for a man obviously makes it easier to talk to other men. There's no hidden agenda. Well, you know, <laughs> not really. Um, no, no hidden agenda on his part, at least. <laughs> Maybe there is on ours? No, he was super cute. He's 23 years old. He could be my son. No, not really. He couldn't. So I know at 23 years old, I didn't have the confidence that you have. What advice would you give to other 23-year-olds that are just out there looking for a guy and just kind of want to mold themselves into what their guy wants? I don't think I would give advice. I think, unfortunately for women, it probably takes a little bit of life experience in order to, you know, gain that wisdom. I just, yeah, I had to learn it myself, and I think that's just what you have to do. I'm not, I'm not much on the advice thing. You could probably give it, and no one would listen to you, you know. But I don't know. Just have fun. Who cares? Like, who really cares? If you talk to some guy and he blows you off, then he's probably some asshole. So move on, you know. What, how has um, being a mom, I guess, changed your confidence? Well, it certainly helps you to prioritize things. I mean, you know, when you have somebody's life in your hands and, you know, you have to do everything for them, it obviously makes going and having cocktails and talking to some young guy seem very insignificant, you know, as part of your day, so. All right, stay tuned to more LateNightParents.com.